Hey everybody, my name is Brandon. Welcome back to Cinefessions, where we talk all things media. And today I am back with another thrift store haul. I have piles over there now of items I've picked up from the thrift store thanks to a small vacation that we went on recently. I hit as many thrift stores as I could and I found a whole bunch of great stuff. Today, what I did is just grabbed a stack of 10 random VHS tapes and so it's going to be a full VHS haul. I have been on such a VHS kick lately I don't know why, but it's just been fun collecting these. So today I have a stack of 10 that I'm excited to share with you guys. I always do this. I forget to look up what number thrift store haul this is, but let's not waste any more time at all. I feel like this is like 36, somewhere around there. Let's dive right in to my latest VHS thrift store haul. All right, let's start right on the top here. And first up we have a Dirty Harry movie Sudden Impact with Clint Eastwood. So what, what VHS tapes am I grabbing? Basically movies that either one I'm nostalgic for, they are sci-fi or horror, or they're just fun like 80s, 70s, 80s, 90s action films. And that's exactly where this one falls. I've actually not seen any of the uh, Dirty Harry series, but I do own it all on Blu-ray. So one day I will correct that. But yeah, this one just looked really fun. I couldn't pass it up. And again, I'm paying typically uh, at the thrift store, I'll be paying about 50 cents each for these. So again, for, for two quarters, why not add it to the collection? It's just fun. So yeah, go ahead and make your day. I'm definitely happy to have sudden impact in the collection on VHS. This next one is either late 90s or early 2000s. I'm not sure, but I'd never heard of it before. But we have iced tea in this. This is Final Voyage. And on the, uh, the tagline here is set a course for terror. This just looks fun. Like I said, I've never heard of this one before, but it takes place on the USS Britannica. And it's going to be just a fun, silly action movie. I am a big cruiser. Our, our, my family, we're big cruisers. You know, I say that we haven't gone on one since the pandemic, but I definitely want to correct that soon. But anyway, and so whenever you get movies like on a ship like this, it's just fun. And so I'm really excited to see what this one is all about. You can see it has the old blockbuster sticker on the back there. So yeah, if this is one you, you guys have heard of, let me know down below. But Final Voyage is now in the collection. This was fitting because I only recently watched 2001 A Space Odyssey, so why not grab Leslie Nielsen in 2001 A Space Travesty? <laughs> this just looks ridiculous. Of course, it is a parody film with Leslie Nielsen. I mean, what's not to love there? So I'm hoping it's fun. Not seen this one, of course, but yeah, it, it looks like it's going to be pretty silly. So yeah, should be should be pretty cool. This is directed by Alan A. Goldstein, who I don't recognize offhand probably seen some of their movies. I just don't uh, realize it, but yeah. So yeah, 2001, A Space Travesty, another just ridiculous one for the VHS collection. This next one was a really cool find. It's it's difficult to find horror movies on VHS these days, but, and frankly, I guess this would be a horror movie, right? I don't remember, uh, but this is Duel, directed by Steven Spielberg. I believe this is his debut, and this one just hit 4K recently. I actually just grabbed the DVD as well, which you'll see in a future haul video, but yeah, I had to pick this one up. This is just a really cool find, another former blockbuster one there. And this is one, I always look at these to make sure they're in decent shape. I didn't even notice, I didn't even open this thing up. So let me get the tape off of this and make sure this one is actually in, you know, workable condition, because sometimes you get them and they're just broken. But yeah, this looks just fine actually. So that's good. Of course, the over here is, is uh, covered up, so I can't see the actual tape itself, but hopefully it's not moldy, we'll see. Frankly, some of these could be, I don't even know what I'm looking for. I, I'm, I'm assuming I would be able to tell if it has mold, but I don't know what to look for in that. So yeah, we'll see, I'll have to test this one out and make sure it works, but really cool cover on this. I wish this wasn't here, but those are a little bit harder to get off just because they've been on there for 24 years now at least. The date on the back here is 328-2000. But yeah, anyway, Pretty cool find, this is Duel. Here is a horror movie with Mark Hamill in it, and I think I have the original on DVD or something in my collection, but this is Watchers Reborn. 
and I've never really heard much about this series before, but it looks fun, and you can see on the bottom there some screenshots, and it's Mark Hamill, and it's based on a Dean Koontz novel, so I mean, why not? This is probably going to be a lot of fun, and this one you can see also has the Be Kind uh, Rewind, or what's it say? Yeah, Be Kind Please Rewind sticker on it, so... Yeah, this just looks really cool. And I mean, it's Mark Hamill. What's not the love here? So yeah, really excited to add this one to the collection. This is Watchers Reborn. This was such a ridiculous one. I couldn't pass it up. You guys know I'm not much when it comes to uh, religion, but this just looks hilarious. We have Bible Man. Or is it? No, it's The Bible Man Adventure. Excuse me. So yeah, what does this say on the side here? The fiendish works of Dr. Fear. I have no idea, but like, look at this cover on this. How could I pass this up? Obviously I couldn't, cause that looks amazing. So yeah, I have no idea how ridiculous this is gonna be, but give me a break. Of course I was adding this to the collection. We have The Bible Man Adventures. This was an interesting one. Now, I only know of this series as like a, a set of kids books, but I believe there is adult books in this as well. But this is Tom Clancy's Net Force. So a like mid 90s looking thriller of some sort, a uh, action thriller, it says action right on the side there. But yeah, like it's Tom Clancy. So it's definitely gonna be, you know, that vein that, uh, of what you would expect from Tom Clancy. I always think like Splinter Cell and Ghost Recon just for my gaming background. But yeah, on the back here, it says it's the year 2005. So it takes place in the future. And actually, I, I was just going to say, I think this one is actually a made for TV movie or a mini series. And on the back, you can see the runtime is 160 minutes, but it's about, you know, the, the one who controls the internet controls the world. You guys know I talk about it all the time. I love movies that like that, that bring in the internet in the 90s. That's just fun. So yeah, very interested to check out Tom Clancy's Net Force. Scott Bakula, Brian Dennehy was in that as well. Like really good cast on there. So anyway, next up is actually completing a collection on VHS that I started in a previous haul video. I found Lethal Weapon 4. And this one is actually in really good shape, which is really cool to see. So I showed that I found Lethal, Lethal Weapon 1, 2, and 3, I, I don't know, sometime earlier this year on VHS from my local thrift store. This one, I actually went out of the town a little bit and found this one in, in another city at their thrift store. But again, it was only 50 cents, so of course I was grabbing it. So now I have the entire quadrilogy of Lethal Weapon on VHS. This is Lethal Weapon 4. Here's another one that I own on DVD, but I loved this as a kid. One of my favorite shows growing up and look at that orange case. How could I pass it up? This is the Rugrats movie and this is the original Rugrats movie, which frankly, I think is still the only one I've ever seen, but I love this. Like I said, Rugrats was my show back in the day. And so you knew I was seeing this one when it came out And this orange box here, the Nickelodeon box. I love that. I think Harriet the Spy, I also own on VHS that has a similar box to it. I know there was a Goosebumps box that was maybe purple. Uh, my Indian in the cupboard box is gold. I love when they do these clamshells in different colors. They're just fun. So yeah, very happy I was able to find the Rugrats movie on VHS also with a really cool orange Nickelodeon themed clamshell. Oh, I didn't even show. The tape is orange also. I remember having, I think it was like a green VHS tape for E.T. back in the day. But yeah, anyway, let's move on to the last one here. So last but not least is by far my favorite pickup of this video, the 30th anniversary edition of one of my all time favorites, Planet of the Apes. And this is not the only Planet of the Apes on VHS you will see throughout these VHS haul videos here, but this was the first one I found and I, I love this movie. I absolutely was picking this one up once I came across it. So yeah, definitely excited to add this one to the collection. This frankly, I'll probably get the full, uh, you know, five set collection on VHS at some point soon. But in the meantime, I'll just keep picking them up as I find them because it's a favorite of mine that I would just love to have the full thing of on VHS. So yeah, I definitely, I want to watch this on VHS because I've seen it on Blu-ray and DVD, but I've never seen it on VHS. So I need to correct that. So this is Planet of the Apes, and that is going to wrap up all 10 VHS tapes I picked up in this thrift store haul video. All right, so there we go. Another thrift store haul in the books. And like I said, I have stacks of items over there now to share with you guys, which 
is great because at the be end of last year and the beginning of this year, I had very little left to share with you guys in terms of thrift store hauls. So tons and tons of VHS tapes, a lot of, of DVDs, even some books over there. So lots coming on the thrift store hauls. But let me know down in the comments below, are you collecting VHS tapes? If so, why? There's no real reason anymore, right? Other than it's fun and it's nostalgic, which is exactly why I'm doing it. So yeah, I'll keep doing it if I can find them at 50 cents each. And you might see some others that I spent a little bit more on, but we'll talk about those when I get around to them. But anyway, guys, let me know what your thoughts are on this haul and anything else down in the comments below. I appreciate any and all support down there. So thank you so much for that. Before you go, if you could just hit that like button, that engagement really does help me out. And I want to encourage you all to consume some media today. I'll catch you all next time.